Hello everyone, and welcome to another Transformers review. Uh, I thought I'd do another one of these incredibly poor G2 figures. Again, showing you some of the worst things that Hasbro have made, as not just some of the things I think are great. Um, this is an Autobot, and his name is Mean Streak, which kind of is a bit weird, because you'd think that would be a name for a Decepticon, but there you go. Um, I've actually used... Um, Stax's weapons, because I don't have Mean Streak's weapons, and I'm not about to go hunting for them. Um, well, what can you say about it? It's a dragster. It's not too bad, you know, it's an unusual sort of styled figure. I don't think we've had really many dragsters before in any of the Transformer lines. Um, it's actually got his name and the G2 logo and everything on the side is advertising, which, you know, not a bad little touch. So, so far you think, you know, you know, reasonable. Pull it back, let it go, it does work. Um, oh, well, no, obviously, yeah, they all come with their G2 logos. And if they're all part of Decepticon written on them somewhere as well. So, in that mode, you think, well, not too bad, you know not kibbly or you know no real other than his face underneath there's no real obvious robot kibble so you know not too bad now you take the guns out the back and then you I'll do this correctly you've got to split the front apart like so it's a little bit fiddly to get that apart pull them right round to the side and then you've got to slide from the sides of the like driver doors where the stickers are, slide that forward and then lift him up and then you fold the sides down to form his arms. And then that's where it all goes horribly wrong because then you've got that as a figure. There is again zero articulation unless he wants to wave at you sideways. He does have a hand, so obviously you can hold the guns. And that's it. Unfortunately, so you can stand there like that, which looks terrible. And you can lean back, which maybe looks a little bit better, but that's it. I mean, that's a terrible face detailing on it. And of course he's got his front wheels on the side of his head, so he's kind of like uh, Princess Leia out of Star Wars. He's got two cunt buns on the side of his head. Um, well, zero articulation. A tiny amount of moulding detail. So not exactly Hasbro's finest hour again. And not really something I'd recommend if you know. The same as stats if you want to pick up something like this. Yeah, you know, feel free. You'll probably get it for next to nothing. Um, they're certainly not worth paying out a fortune for. Um, to be honest, the vehicle modes are the best modes, and that's really all you can say from you know they're a colourful figure and a bit unusual, but yeah, not brilliant, and certainly not worth more than a couple of quid to pick up. Right, well, I have got another one I'm going to review for you as well, which will be coming up after, sort of like after I've done this review. Um, and hopefully that's the end of the really bad ones. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this little review. Um, I'm having more of a comic look at these at the minute. I think it's just enjoy, enjoying them. Um, Maybe slagging something off a little bit. It makes a change for me just saying how wonderful they all are. Um, I'm the first to admit that not all of them are. Um, okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that little look at um, So Bad, I can't even remember his name, Mean Streak. Hope you enjoyed that, and I shall see you again for another terrible robot.